Hello and welcome everyone. It is 1130 Central, so we will get started. Thank you for tuning in to today's webinar, how to use the Pregnancy Profile Simulator in remote, hybrid, or in-person learning environments. My name is Emily Winnestorfer. I am on the marketing team here at RealityWorks. I will be behind the scenes assisting our lead presenter today, Denise Dubois. Denise is one of our product managers here at RealityWorks and has been with us for a little over 10 years and is a frequent presenter, trainer, and blogger for all things related to Real Care Baby and other related products. She has over 20 years of education, marketing, product design, and curriculum writing experience, so she is a fantastic resource for today's webinar. Before we get started, I do want to cover a couple things. First, today's presentation is being recorded and all attendees will receive a link to that recording, as well as the PowerPoint slides and the handout um, and a handout with the links that Denise will be covering today. You will see that email within 24 hours after the webinar. We will have time at the end for a Q&A session. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to type those in at the chat area or the Q&A section located at the bottom of the Zoom. Um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pass things over to Denise to get us going. Uh, thank you, Emily. Appreciate it. And welcome, everyone, to our session today on how to use the Fancy Profile Simulator in a variety of learning environments. <clears throat> Wearable simulators give students an interactive experience like really no other classroom resource can, allowing students to walk in the shoes of a person in that third trimester of pregnancy is a really powerful tool for understanding what it's like. But how can you use this in a remote learning environment? Well, we're hoping that this webinar will give you ideas for teaching lessons on pregnancy and childbirth in all sorts of learning environments. So for those of you who are not familiar with RealityWorks, uh, just a little bit about us. Um, our products here are developed with hands-on learning in mind. We, from Real Care Baby to our culinary and soft skills programs, we uh, use uh, our knowledge to help teachers create lasting educational and experiential uh, learning experiences. Um, the specific focus for our discussion today is one of our most popular wearable simulators, and that is the Pregnancy Profile Simulator. So here's a brief outline of some of the content that we're going to cover. Uh, we are going to uh, do an overview of everything that comes in the Pregnancy Profile package, so you know what all the pieces are. We are going to take a deeper dive into the curriculum and some of the lesson plans. We're going to uh, give you a few different sample syllabi for different uh, shorter units on teaching pregnancy. We've got some remote teaching ideas, and then we've got some best practices and tips for also hybrid and in-person instruction. And of course, we've got a few more free uh, resources at the end, and then we'll have our Q&A session. So if you're not familiar with Pregnancy Profile, um, it replicates that third trimester of pregnancy. It's a wearable pregnancy vest, <clears throat> and the curriculum helps the user understand what the pregnancy's impact on the body, as well as life goals and finances, relationships, and things like emotions. Users experience a 25 to 30 pound weight gain and many symptoms found in that third trimester of pregnancy. So instructors use this educational tool with males and females in many programs. So the pregnancy profile comes with the following parts. You get the vest. Um, it has three adjustable straps in the back. Um, it has a water bladder and cap that you fill with warm water to simulate ele uh, elevated body temperature and also fetal movement. The rib constrictor belt is worn underneath the vest and it simulates pressure from fetal limbs and also makes it difficult to breathe. Now we have a, an added weight bag, which um, makes it a little bit heavier um, so that you feel that average weight gain in the third trimester. We do have a carrying case to store all the parts in so it's, it's safe and convenient. Um, it does come with a shirt that's kind of a one size fits most um, that some instructors also choose uh, to wear and have students wear over the top of the vest. And of course it does with that come with that curriculum. Uh, the name of it is called Understanding Pregnancy and it includes 12 different lessons that we're going to look at closer on a little later in the webinar. So let's take a look at some of the experiences of those physical symptoms of pregnancy that the wearer will feel. First of all, they'll have that change in body image. Um, of course, when you're in that third trimester, uh, your body is, is uh, typically larger. Uh, you feel un, unsteady on your feet and it just, it just really does change how you see yourself. So you've got that, that uh, 25 to 30 pound weight gain that makes it difficult to do just some very normal um, daily living tasks. Um, that elevated body temperature, you feel warm. That's a, that's a frequent complaint of expectant mothers. 
Um, you also have the profile. Um, when you look in the mirror of that enlarged belly and breasts, um, that can be a, um, something new. And then also difficult walking, bending, sitting, just again, normal movement is, is not done as easily and takes a little bit more, sometimes a lot more effort. And of course, increased fatigue. When you wear that, the simulator um, and you have that weight on you and you're doing things, um, you will get tired quickly. You've got the pressure from those fetal limbs because you've got the weight of the vest on that uh, rib constrictor that has two small balls inside of it that are pressing down on your rib cage. And, and that's uh, what is simulating the, the pressure from the fetal limbs. Shortness of breath comes from the weight of the vest on your lungs, making it somewhat difficult to breathe. And you feel pressure on your bladder from, uh, we have a weight bag that sits in the bottom part of the vest that is um, on top of your bladder. And that extra weight um, will also make you uh, feel like you have to go to the bathroom. And then fetal kicking movements, you've got fetal movement from a free floating ball that is in the water, um, in that water um, bladder, and it moves around as you move. So um, uh, fairly realistic um, when you have it on. Now we, it is very easy to put on as well. We just thought we would share that quickly. You fill that water bladder with your warm water and put the cap on securely. You insert that water bladder um, on top of the weight bag into the, the vest and you simply uh, zip up that belly pouch. You put the rib constrictor belt on the student. It's just a Velcro thing, so it's very easy to put on. Put the vest over the top. You adjust those shoulder straps and the straps in the back. And then if, if you want to, you can also put that t-shirt on. Um, so very easy to put on. And we recommend that it be worn, if possible, for about 20 minutes to get the full effect. Uh, now we're going to talk about ways you can use this as a resource when you can't quite put it on in a live situation. First of all, before we talk about that, we're gonna just do a little bit of a dive into the curriculum and lesson plans and assessment that come along with it. Now you do have access to all of our uh, curricula for all of our products for free at the link above. Um, and this does include the pregnancy profile curriculum. So there are dozens of lessons, PowerPoints and pages of information and activities. So all you need to do is um, go out to the link and you can click on, on facts and then click on reproduction and pregnancy and then, then click on preg profile. And that's where you will get access to the curricula. Now, right underneath that, you'll see a link um, on that page to Google Docs. Um, there's a zip file that includes all the handouts, the assessments and the activities. Um, they're all ready to be used e easily in Google Docs. So that's all there at that link for you. Now there are 12 lessons in the understanding pregnancy curriculum that come with a simulator. So if you taught the entire curriculum, you could do anywhere from uh, 19 to 27 hours of teaching time, depending on how deep you go into the lessons. So each of the lessons includes a ready to use uh, plans with facilitator instructions. You get slide presentations, pre and post assessments, including answer keys, uh, handouts and student activities. And here are the 12 lesson topics and you can see those on the screen in front of you. Now, there's a lot of breadth of content in these lessons. If you had the luxury of a lot of time, you could probably, and do all of the activities, um, it could easily fill a one hour class for a month to six weeks. However, um, you can also pick and choose from among the curricula and the lesson topics to do a shorter, more focused unit on pregnancy and childbirth. Now, we're gonna uh, share two suggestions for a one and a two week unit on pregnancy and childbirth if you don't have those weeks and months to devote to the topic. So the pregnancy profile simulator can also be used to teach concepts found in several different facts, standards and competency areas. Human development and parenting are just two of those areas. Uh, connections can also be made to many careers in pregnancy and childbirth if you also have any type of career exploration unit. So here now are a few uh, sample syllabi for shorter units on pregnancy and childbirth. So if you chose one week, approximately one hour a day, um, this is a suggested one week unit of topics. You can start with those physical changes of pregnancy, uh, pregnancy symptoms and discomforts, and then fetal development month to month, talk about some of the medical aspects and then actually go through the birth process. We're gonna take a deeper dive into each of those five daily daily lesson ideas for that one week. So with the first day, or you'd have the physical changes of pregnancy. 
Um, and that's where you would start with that pregnancy profile simulation experience in person, or uh, you could do a do it your own simulation if you're remote. Um, we're going to um, show you some examples of that a little later in the webinar. Um, perform those daily tasks that are in the lesson, and all of this can be found in lesson three of this curricula. There are some uh, dis discussion questions that could be used as a debrief written exercise as well. And here is just one recommended short video on the that goes nicely with this lesson on the physical changes of pregnancy found at that link. Um, day two, you get into pregnancy symptoms and discomforts. And this is uh, referenced in lesson four. Uh, we'd recommend that you share the slide presentation contents. And then there are a few activities. One is the pregnancy symptoms and discomforts worksheet. And another one is how would I feel if I or my uh, girlfriend or partner were pregnant now? And that's an exercise. Um, so in person, if you were uh, in a school situation, you could invite a parent or an expectant mother to be a speaker on a panel. Or if you are remote, you could do an online uh, invite to a Zoom panel that students could ask questions for. And then you could conclude this lesson with uh, review activities, including a reaction story. And that's also in lesson four. Uh, we also did include a short video that we thought matched nicely with this lesson and it's on the common discomforts, and dis common discomforts of pregnancy. The third day of the week, that's all about fetal development and that's in lesson five. And this is a very robust lesson. There are nine activities in that lesson. So you can pick and choose what you'd like. So for a short unit, we, we recommend that you do share the slide presentation um, on fetal development. And then you can share all the fetal monthly development information on a handout. And then you'd complete an activity called the trimester characteristics activity. And here's a recommended uh, pregnancy week to week video that we think goes nicely with that uh, content. So day four of our one week unit is all about the medical aspects of pregnancy. Most of this can be found in lesson eight and there are a few things in lesson five. Uh, you'd go to lesson eight and you'd find the slide presentation and handouts on medical care, doctor visits and those prenatal tests. There's also additional information back in lesson five um, and there's an activity called the disease detective. It's a research project and there's also a handout on hereditary disease. And that both goes uh, nicely together to cover medical aspects of pregnancy. And then uh, there's an ultrasound during pregnancy video that's referenced here for you as well. And then the final day of a five, final uh, lesson in a one week unit is the birth process. All of the information's leading up to this. And this can be found in lesson nine. There is an activity called when I was born, the activity that you can give to them. Uh, we recommend that you share slides and lecture notes found in lesson nine, all about labor and delivery. There is a short review quiz um, with questions in the last section of that lesson that you could also access. And then we found another good video that we um, are uh, making you aware of here at this link called the stages of labor. So that would be a, a pretty nice comprehensive one week unit all about pregnancy and childbirth. Now you have the luxury of a little bit more time to expand, maybe 10 days. Um, here's a two week unit. So we'd approach it much the same way as the previous slide, you know, lay out your calendar, uh, see how much teaching time you have to devote to each of those topics, access the lesson in the understanding pregnancy curriculum, and then take a look at the PowerPoints, the handouts and activities that are in each lesson, decide how deeply you wanna go into each. Now, you could also augment this with, of course, other resources you might have on hand, such as models or videos, um, but that would be a suggested two-week unit. So now we would like to share some ideas and resources for teaching in a remote environment if you cannot be there in person with your students. Now, if you can't be there to experience that pregnancy profile simulation, here are a few do-it-yourself projects that your students could try at home. First of all, we know students have backpacks. So you could have them take it and fill it with 25 to 30 pounds. The goal is to fill up the space in the backpack representing average weight gain by the third trimester. And then you have the student wear it backwards so they can feel the difference in their center of gravity. Or you could simply take something um, that you can fill with warm water like a hot water bottle. Um, you might even have a beach ball or something like that and wrap it in a baby sling or some kind of a scarf and wear it low on the abdomen. Um, you could also use something like a medicine ball or a smaller exercise ball that has some weight to it. Again, once students have these things on, 
Then you can go into some of the lesson activities, have students tie their shoes, pick things up off the floor, sit, stand up, etc. cetera. Um, so they would get some of the same types of uh, physical experience that they would um, as if they were wearing the pregnancy profile. Now, here are a few YouTube videos. The first one is a video we found that um, shows how uh, some people have created their own empathy bumps. So in that video, you could, could also see how they've done it. And then we found one, it's about 12 minutes long, and it shows um, a gentleman wearing our pregnancy profile for a single day and all the different things he went through during that day. So that was kind of a fun one as well. And it's only 12 minutes. So that might be even a link that it, when you're remote, you could um, make that link available to your students in your LMS system or however you are communicating with them as something fun to watch. So no matter what situation you're in, whether it's in, her, in person or hybrid, <clears throat> here are some guidelines for cleaning and caring for your pregnancy profile simulator that you'll find um, in the quick start guide at the link above. And I've got a, a, a screenshot of that, but basically um, you can, you can wash the vest if you want to. Um, uh, we say don't bleach it, but um, you definitely can wash it. Um, and then the pieces inside that are plastic, you can certainly also um, uh, wash. So if, if that's how you'd like to uh, do with the cleaning, there are some specific instructions there that we've made available for you. Now, if you're 100% remote, um, what are some other things that you could maybe do? Well, first of all, are your students able to come to school to get something? If so, you could potentially send home the preg profile. Um, it has, it comes in a storage bag that you could perhaps make available to check out. Now this works best if you have multiple suits, obviously. Um, perhaps you could establish a date and time or a specific hour when students could pick it up and again, return it um, without having to see anyone, have like a no contact zone. Um, and then students could, could uh, go through the simulation experience at home. Or again, you could have them do a do it yourself experience. Now, we did a little bit of searching. We actually found many free or low cost pregnancy simulation apps out there. Now, we can't speak to the quality of many of these, but it might be worth taking a look, especially if you are remote. Um, there are many more than this. We just are highlighting two here, um, but we were able to find these just after a, a very brief search. So, um, you know, we know that students like things like apps and video games. So something like this might also uh, be a great alternative. Just try to think outside the box if they can't use that uh, pregnancy profile simulation experience at home. So here's some thoughts for using it if you're in a hybrid or in-person instructional environment. Uh, some planning questions. Having students do the pregnancy simulation is of course inherently an in-person experience most of the time. So here are three questions to ask yourself whether you are in an in-class environment, hybrid, or even remote. How many pre pregnancy profiles do you have to use that are available? How many students do you have that you wish to do this experience with? And how much time do you have to devote um, to this experience in the course? Now, just like in-person planning, um, decide how much time you'd like to dedicate to the pregnancy experience and how many days you're going to need. And then go through the curriculum at least two weeks ahead um, so you're ready to begin the program on the date that you want. You want to determine which part of the unit you want to cover so you can prepare. Um, have those exercises available um, in Google Docs. Um, check out our link for those uh, for ease of use if you wish to use those in a Google Classroom or post any of those things on an LMS system. A few other best practice tips to think about. Um, we have found that if you encourage group interactions whenever possible, uh, students really build off of each other's experience and the discussion is much richer. Um, if you're in person, using stations is a great way to implement a variety of experiences to rotate through. So if you have um, the simulation experience perhaps um, at, at uh, one station, there might be other uh, projects or activities from the curriculum that you wanna set up in other stations around the room. Uh, think of you know, how you would handle classroom management. And the last one is to try to provide those post simulation experiences for reflection. Um, we know that providing opportunities for reflection after the experience is, is always a best practice. And you could do this as a large group class, you could do it as a small group or even in pairs if you wanted. Uh, journaling exercises are a really good way to do this. Uh, you can provide key questions 
for students to answer about their own experiences. You could do that in any learning environment. And then oh, you could provide additional pre and post reflection activities if you'd like. But here are a few good questions at the end of it to, to have your students think through. How did it go? How did you feel during this experience? How has this changed your understanding of pregnancy? That's a great one. Um, when, we, when we go into classrooms and we do this activity, um, especially the young men in the class many times um, get that aha moment. This might be the closest thing they ever get to really feeling what that must be like. And it's, it's pretty eye-opening. So by and large, we find teachers to be very creative. And we, through the years, have uh, had um, some very fun ideas that we've gathered um, from instructors around the country that are using the pregnancy profile in some really innovative ways. This is one of my favorites, um, a cross-curricular experience. We had one health educator from California who used this as a chance to work with a history teacher or when they do their Westward Expansion Unit. And the class actually goes on a field trip for several days. They travel by covered wagon or walk along desert roads. Um, they're in a mountainy area. Uh, they are to live and experience life as closely to the pioneers as they can, um, like the Oregon Trail. So their students live, travel, cook, and sleep outdoors like the pioneers. And to make it even more realistic, random students are given the pregnancy profile simulator to wear as they walk the trail. And some teachers even give out real care baby to hand out to students um, also as they travel. So the pregnant students are still expected to walk along or ride occasionally if necessary, but they will see that sleeping and working on the trail while pregnant was certainly not an easy thing to do. And that, that will help them understand things in a whole different way. Um, next, we've had several instructors tell us about field trips they've taken to local hospitals for a close-up look and experience with labor and delivery. Some students will wear the pregnancy profile simulator into the delivery room or actually get wheeled in for a C-section wearing the vest. Now, this is experienced by both um, um, male and female students. Students are treated professionally by the nurses and doctors on the staff, and they will actually lie in birthing beds and experience various complications. And in the end, they'll receive their, their newborn, which is typically real care baby at the end. Now, with, with field trips like this, Instructors have found that questions arise naturally in the setting and information will flow from staff to students and it's just a great learning experience. We've talked a little bit about journaling and we know that journaling is just an excellent way for students to reflect on any experience. So this instructor actually gives the students the pregnancy profile to wear several days and has them journal each day about it. But we don't recommend that they wear it several days. We just say 20 minutes. However, um, even after 20 minutes, you can still have your students go through that simulation with those physical tasks and have them journal about that experience. Now, the pregnancy profile simulator is used in many teen prevention programs around the country as well. There is one teacher that has students participate in that simulation experience first and then work in groups to develop a pregnancy profile or a pregnancy prevention campaign. Each small group will come up with a campaign theme or a slogan, and then they develop promotional materials around that, that theme or slogan. So it's up to the instructors to decide what pieces that students need to develop as part of their campaign. And you see the list here of some of the things. Uh, the class or even the school could vote on the campaign that they think is the most effective, and then the winning campaign was rolled out across the school. Now I'd like to share a few additional resources um, for you. Uh, first of all, we do have a free career exploration unit, and there's five lessons at the link above, but one of those lessons is specific to childbirth-related careers. So if you use the Pregnancy Profile Simulator in your program, this lesson is a great extension to that course. Now it's recommended to teach this lesson after your students have completed the pregnancy simulation experience. The lesson assumes that your students have felt the experience of that third trimester of pregnancy and they've learned about some of the physical changes to the mother as well as the fetal monthly development. And this lesson will give your students a lot of insight into pregnancy and childbirth related career opportunities that they might not even be aware of. Um, part of the lesson is uh, they choose a related career and they do a, re a research project on it. And um, at the end of the, 
they present their research about this occupation in a five minute class presentation. So um, it gives your students exposure to uh, just many career opportunities out there that deal with childbirth, labor delivery and so forth. Um, you might even wanna end this lesson with a career panel discussion, inviting uh, local childbirth or pregnancy related professionals from a variety of settings such as hospitals, uh, clinics, social service organizations um, to uh, talk about um, their career and typical day in the life. Um, even if you're remote, you could set up a panel like that, certainly in, in a, a Zoom situation or some kind of uh, software like that. Um, other things that we have are webinars like we're doing today. And we do free webinars routinely on many different facts related topics. Um, you're always invited to sign up and participate in them and watch them uh, or watch them from the archives when it's convenient. And uh, you can see the link here, that's where you go for uh, webinars specific to facts. Um, we've got different categories archived and then there are also any upcoming live webinars listed at that same link. So here are a few other additional resources. First of all, we do have a blog and we routinely ask uh, guest writers to contribute uh, interesting and new content on our blog. We also do uh, new, new product launches on there, uh, lesson plans, uh, all sorts of uh, free information that I find very useful. Uh, we also are uh, very active in social media. We have a Facebook and a Twitter account that you can go to. And again, many times it's a very good sharing place where instructors can go and share photos and talk to other instructors about what they're doing. And we do have a wonderful product support uh, link and staff that you can go to if you ever have any questions related to any of the Reality Works products that you might have. So I've been talking for almost a half an hour now and giving lots of different ideas. So now what? What do you do with this? Well, what we would suggest that you do is decide if you're able to use the pregnancy profile at all in an in-person or if you Want to try one of those alternative simulation experiences, the DIYs, the apps, the videos, some of that kind of thing. Um, explore some of the free assets that we that we uh, shared with you today. Maybe choose just a couple that were your favorites and try them out. Um, it was great if you can walk away with any a handful of, of new things to try in your classroom. Uh, Emily, at this point, I would um, open it up for the Q and A. If you've seen any questions in the chat area. I haven't seen any questions coming through. I just. We can give everybody a moment. Um, someone is wondering if we sell products in Spain. Uh, we do have distributors around the world and um, that I will have to check with them. And if you'd like to contact us offline after the webinar, um, and I'll share our contact information here at the 800 number that you see on the screen, we will be able to answer that question for you. Perfect. And then another question came in, is the profile to be worn 20 minutes or the original two and a half to three hours? Um, no, we are saying 20 minutes. And many times um, it's hard to do more than that because if you've got a, a, you know, a lot of students to rotate through um, and, and wanna get done with it in a, in a fairly uh, efficient manner, that's why we're saying 20. But if you've got, if you've got um, smaller classes, you might be able to go longer. Perfect, not seeing any other, oh, one more. Are you able to share what is an estimate cost for the item? Oh, that's a that's a good question as well. If you go on our uh, website store at realityworks.com and there is a product page for the pregnancy profile, if you click on that, that will give you the most recent price. We um, usually at the beginning of every year in January, we we have um, uh, sometimes some new some new pricing. However, I know that the preg profile has stayed the same price. So to find them the most recent price, that would be your best source to go to. Awesome. And then I'm going to include the link to the pregnancy profile vest um, product page right Excellent. now in the chat. Excellent. All right. Well, there are no more questions, Emily. We can conclude today's webinar. We really appreciate the time that you all took today 
to, uh, to listen in on uh, some of the fun and exciting and uh, innovative ways that the Pregnancy Profile Stimulator is being used around the country. Thank you very much.